Hello guys and welcome back again. So we will continue with the same application using Ionic and Firebase. So as we said last time, so we'll work with it, with this concept. It's just like uh, not like a real application or something like, something like that. We'll just take some features in uh, Trello application. We will build it using Ionic and Firebase. So like that you will learn a lot of things how to uh, so like that in the end you will reach a point where you can uh, build your own applications so in here in the end when you get uh, this code as i said it's pushed to uh, the public repository so every video or every few videos i always push my chairs to this uh, repo so in the end you can like clone it and you will uh, you can run, run it in your own laptops but you will not like get a real application that will with uh, logical way and uh, that it will serve you in some specific like uh, things maybe you can make it like a mobile applica application to put like your tasks as you see here to do doing that something like that but it already exists in Trello application and uh, well I, as I said, this just to teach you how to uh, to build application using Ionic and Angular uh, and Firebase. Yeah, Ionic based on Angular for sure. So we will proceed by implementing the front end first. Try to customize it. Try to fix everything in the front end or most of things or at least uh, step by step. And uh, after every part in the front end done so like that we will integrate uh, our functionality of firebase uh, we build some crudes we do everything that needed uh, till we reach uh, our result uh, our expected result as well so guys let's continue here just let's run our uh, ionic project by ionic self and yeah what else okay in uh, in here in this image i just saved it in the project as uh, svg format so you can find it in uh, the assets engs image home.svg this one so let's first of all let's uh, fix or customize our home page as well and here what we have we have also this one i can save it as svg as well Okay, this is our, our mobile application. And yeah, let's save this image as well as the uh, SVG part file. And here, new file, save it in here. Save as uh, uh, source assets. Uh, let's create new folder like logo. And here, I will name it logo dot svg okay so yeah in the home page what we have we have the background is blue color so this one it is this one there is something that we can use it uh, we can use uh, colors as public variables so like that we don't every css file we put uh, the same variables all those things so just go to the team folder, click right, and let's put, like create new file, name it colors.css, and here I will not work in like dark and light mode here, because I, I already made a video in Ionic or Angular how you made uh, or you build uh, application or your application and add, add, add this uh, team switcher between dark or light or whatever uh, team you want. So let's just put like a star and have this way, this way, blue, okay, ionic, firebase, blue, and let's do like that, and what, what we have also, we have here some other colors like this violet, and put it in here like ionic, firebase, violet and we have also this green color for this button and 
and Pinic Firebase, for example, green. Okay, so here also we have white, it's the main BG, for example, main BG, it's the white color for now, and we have main color. Let's say for example 18, 18, 18, this is for the text and those things. Okay, let's save it. So let's take this one, this variable, and go to home page. As you see here, we have this I am content. So I am content. The background, you can put it like uh, with this variable, dash dash background. Not uh, It will not work uh, only with background for the, this I am content. Some uh, components in Ionic. So background like that and put var put our variable. Okay. And it will run the project again. Oh yeah, this why this is not working because we didn't import our color uh, file in the global.css. So here the same import team slash colors.scss and you will find it here working fine normally okay that's great what else what we have we have our button login button is white so yeah probably we will not have any other button here in the home page so like that I put it here same background I will use the variable main for example bg I think yes but the colors are let's take the blue color Dash or without dash, I think without dash it will work. Let's see here. Okay, color working here fine. Join us, Slovin, and by signing up, you are agreed to blah blah blah. Okay, let's copy this one and go here. Don't fix it. The, okay. I think we'll not uh, use this class within for this button only. I will make a div and put this class in here and put everything for this button. So uh, you agree to our terms of service. And privacy policy, so and contact support. So let's follow, let's put the bar. <coughs> okay, so here uh, not looking fine, and yeah. Our main DG and text decoration none. But we have also we have let's put it all in uh, e tag. So here X align center and font size let's say 30 pixel okay and see what will happen now okay privacy policy and 13 is a little uh, small 13 adding let's say uh, 24 pixel 
six pixel and not such four pixel from all the sides. So yes, here. Ah, text decoration. Let's put it. Uh, We need it already. So mm, contact support. I will use Bootstrap as I remember I told you that I will use Bootstrap or Prime Edge. Okay, Prime Edge not use it. So I remember. I don't know which video I put it the strap thing. Yeah, here. So we can add some class like this one class margin top three. <coughs> Let's put it in a different uh, one. So I get we have some space between the contact support and the other Oops. Okay. Oh, this is a lot. Let's delete this padding or do it like that. Okay, like that, it's more better. Just in the bottom here, margin, the touch for pixel. Okay. <coughs> still our image. Let's, uh, yeah, I still also the logo and this is the bottom fixed and let's say jib have no jib. We have uh, jib dot logo box emg slash assets slash logo slash logo dot s p g and we have div for example let's say uh, in home image or EMG image asset slash EMGS slash I forget what is the name of it yeah on that SVG Okay, so let's say logo here. Since it's this one like that, we can move all of that within our eye content. So a uh, logo uh, logo box. We want uh, just see by content sample. I think it will work and EMG. The hey, watch for pixel. It's not watch for pixel. Let's say punch for and text align. Okay. Uh, that's a margin bottom when well, 24 pixel and we have also here this whole EMG
the height of this one, let's say 50VH. And let's see. The image is 50VH. Oh no. Okay. Need one hundred percent. Let's see the zero. Okay, guys, just move this. I am padding from the iron content to this one. And let's say since this one is around 100 percent so like that text align right okay just let's increase here 60 vh yeah like that is good but let's delete the background is red another thing here so let's decrease this in here and this is margin twenty four but one left uh, but one the right uh, top yeah so in here it's a little mix similar to it we can Channel to Android, for example, Galaxy. Let's put it for 55. Okay, guys, so here. <coughs> The logo here is 32 to make it look more better, more bigger. Yeah, like that's better. So, okay, this one will bring us to the login page. So, let's go here. Login page, what we have? We have this uh, segment switcher between login using email password or our login using uh, mobile number and the uh, OTP code. So what we have here, join us. Okay. This is our input. But let's use something like Bootstrap inputs. Okay, guys. Let's uh, for now let's just stop this video and start another one. See you next video, bye-bye.